Okay, here we are with the December thought of the month for Puzzle Duck Golf and Brad Clayton. Thank you very much for tuning back in. Once again, I'm at beautiful Falcon Ridge Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada. Beautiful scenery behind me. You can see the mountains. This is a par three. Um, beautiful scenery all together. Talks put on an unbelievable event out here for the National Amputee Long Drive Championship. I want to thank him for giving me the opportunity to participate in that and actually do a clinic tomorrow, uh, which I'll be doing. I played today with a bunch of amputee guys or one-arm guys that were really fantastic. Those guys can flat out play. Um, had a wonderful time with them. Thanks to them for uh, giving me the opportunity to hang out with them. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a, a, a round the green golf shot where we've got a relatively severe slope going downhill. We're going to need more loft to counteract that slope. So I've got a 60 degree wedge in my hand. The pin's about 25 feet onto the green. But you can tell that I'm going quite a bit downhill. When you've got it going downhill, the very simple thing that we want to do is to take our shoulders and get them parallel to the ground. If your shoulders are level and you're trying to keep your balance vertical, then you're going to tend to hit back behind the ball and up into it. So you'll hit it fat and or thin. If we can take our shoulders and get them parallel to the ground, that puts our weight forward and allows us to swing along the ground and then into the ground. So that's one thing we're definitely not trying to do is build the ball up into the air. So we want to swing along the ground and trust that the loft of the club is going to get the ball in the air. We're going to also move the ball into your stance a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is get your shoulders level to the ground, move the ball back in your stance the amount that needs to be so that you can strike the ground here and focus my eyes where I want the ball to land. I'm going to get my shoulders level to the ground, put the ball back relative to that, and then I'm just going to swing right along the ground and let the loft of the club do the work for me. And that came out very nicely. Went up, rolled up, I don't know, four or five feet from the hole, not too bad. So once again, when you get on slopes, especially your downhill slopes, Want to make sure you get your shoulders level to the ground. Put the ball back the amount the slope is, ever how vertical. The more vertical it is, the more back it goes. And make sure you swing along the ground and trust that the loft is going to get the ball in the air. We're not trying to help it into the air. If you do that, you're going to hit behind it and hit it thin and or hit it thin. So fat or thin comes from that. Once again, thanks for watching the Puzzle Duck Golf Thought of the Month for December. Um, really hate to leave this place. It's gorgeous. We're going to be here for a couple more days, but if you have any questions, please give me a call or give me an email at uh, puzzleduckgolf at gmail.com. Puzzleduckgolf at gmail.com. Don't forget that the Puzzle Duck Golf book is out and available on Amazon. You can also get it through me, but certainly through Amazon. If you go to Amazon and Google Puzzle Duck Golf or Brad Clayton's Puzzle Duck Golf, you'll be able to get the book there. Thanks for your time and hope you have a great day. And uh, I guess it'll be Christmas time when you're watching this video, so Merry Christmas to you.